legislature has unveiled a plan to help fund a stadium to bring a major league baseball team to Utah, but it's giving some people heartburn over using taxpayer money to build it. Lawmakers call it a reinvestment in the Salt Lake's Fair Park area. The specialist Lindsay Ertz has more on the bill and how neighbors are feeling. Isaac Atencio grew up in Rose Park. He now owns the Salt Lake Barber Company right down the street from the proposed site of the new Major League Baseball Park. I think this is huge for the area. You know, this part of town has uh, statistically always been kind of underrepresented, underfunded. And funding for the proposed stadium is what lawmakers have just unveiled, using close to a billion dollars of taxpayer-generated money to help build it. It's easy to kind of be misled by a headline. You see taxpayer money, uh, and, and yeah, nobody wants to, you know, have increase in tax uh, expenses and such, but I think the fine print kind of speaks for itself. That fine print? The bill proposes setting up a specific entertainment district from I-80 North between 1000 West and Redwood Road. A board will govern it, which can levy a host of taxes to raise that money. Hotel taxes would go up statewide, as well as things like rental car taxes. We believe that will actually, uh, the, the, the baseball stadium will actually create more revenue than we will pay and out-of-state residents will pay for. The plan also includes any property taxes generated by the proposed development to go back into infrastructure and other amenities within this specific Fair Park District. Senate President Stuart Adams says he sees this plan as an investment in the area. A rising tide lifts all boats and I think you'll see the tide rise. The money that gets raised is then lent to the owners of the team, presumably the Larry H. Miller Group, to build the stadium. They then pay to rent the stadium back from the state. The Millers have also kicked in their own $3.5 billion. We have negotiated the fact we will own the stadium. That's a big deal. The bill also stipulates that the stadium must have at least 30,000 seats, parking, lighting, plazas, and open space. And if the team leaves the area before the 30 years is up, the owners would have to repay the taxpayer money. And for shop owners like Atencio, he welcomes the change this could bring. The status quo over here for the longest time has been check cashing spots, rent to own furniture, vape stores, and it's, it's time to see something a little bit better for the neighborhood. Now, this bill also has a stipulation that the Millers would have to sign an expansion deal by 2032. Lawmakers also only have seven working days to pass this. I'm Lindsay Ertz for KSL 5 News.